All right, hi everyone. So today we're gonna to be talking about divisibility results in other bases. Um, so I've narrowed it down to two rules that I think are going to be important. So the first one is a number is divisible by three in base nine if it ends in zero, three, or six. And we're going to use these three example problems to show why this works. So our first one is pretty simple. It's 13 base nine. And if we break this down into cube form, we have one rad and three singles. Now because we're working in base 9, we know that this one rod is going to break down into 9 singles. And if we're dividing by 3, we know that means we have 3 groups. And because 9 is always divisible by 3, every time we break down a unit, we're going to have a set of 9. So we know that we have 4 groups of 3, so each of our groups are going to get four singles. Now if we look at the 520, um, we see that we have five flats, two rods, and no singles. So first what we need to do is again if we have those three groups, we start with our biggest unit and we have a set of three here so we know that each group is going to get one flat and then we break down these flats into nine rods and again we can see that because nine is always going to be divisible by three that this is always going to divide out into three So each group got six total rods. And then we have these two left over, and we're going to break those down into nine singles each. And then again, because we know that um, one rod is equal to nine singles, that's always going to be divisible by three. So each group will get six, and we'll do the same here, and we know that we have a total of one flat, six rods, and six singles. Same thing here for the 726. We have seven flats. If we break it up into three groups, We have three, or two for each group with one left over. And that's going to break up into nine rods. And then we have two from our two in our original problem. So we divide these up equally. And we have two left over, which we're going to break down again. And here's where this differs from the 520 that we were just working with, is because 6 is also divisible by 3, we know that when we break up these two rods into groups of 9, that whenever we have a multiple of 3 plus a multiple of 3, it's still going to be a multiple of 3. So we'd break these up. Plus the 6 that we started with. And then we know we have enough to give to each um, enough to give to each group. So we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in each group. So that's going to give us one rod, I guess, in each group. Anyways, <laughs> um, now if we move to the next. Um, the next rule that I was talking about in the beginning, we're going to look at a number is divisible by 2 in base 8 if it ends in 0, 2, 4, or 6. So again, we have a few um, example problems to go through. So first, if we look at 570, we have 5 flats. Six 
seven singles and ze or seven rounds, zero singles. So then if we were to divide it up into two of our um, two groups, we have a group of two here, a group of two here, so we know that right away each group is going to get two flats. And then we have one left over, so we're going to regroup that. And because it's an even base, for because the base is eight, um, that's going to give us an even number of rods. Because we break up one flat into eight rods. So then if we group those, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we can regroup this one into eight singles. So then we would have four singles in each group. And we know that it was divisible because it ended in a zero. Now if we look at 42, if it ends in two, we have four rods and two singles. Again, dividing that up into two groups. We have a group of two here, a group of two here, so we know that each group is going, since we have two groups of two, each group is going to get two rods. And then we have one, two left over. Two singles. Each of the groups get, gets one. So even if this was like an odd number and we would have had to regroup, we still would have had eight singles, which equals out into um, our groups here. Now if we look at a four in the ones place, let's just make this 34 just for time's sake. We have three rods, four singles. We have two groups that we're trying to make. So again, one group of two, each group is going to get one. We regroup this into eight singles. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six that each group is going to get for 16. And lastly, we look at our six. If we have six rods, six singles, we're dividing it into two groups. We can, we have three groups of two, so we'll give each group three rods, and then three groups of two singles, so we'll give three singles to each group. And again, it evened out because we ended in six. So just an important thing to remember, is when we're working in base eight, a number is going to be divisible by two if it ends in zero, two, four, or six, as we see here. Because whenever we are regrouping or breaking down a unit, because we're working in base eight, base eight will always, um, an eight, a group of eight will always distribute equally into two groups.